Hello everyone, this is Roy Bear 22 um, So to get uh, things out of the way first here, I'd just like to say that yes, I am still alive, I'm still here, I'm still doing reviews. Um, it has been a busy semester for me, so I haven't really had the chance to uh, upload any content over the past few months um, since December. So um, I originally bought this in the mail uh, about a month ago, and there's been some sort of a delay or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but this took a lot longer than it should have to get to me. So I apologize for um, the lack of content for a while. I was supposed to have a video out <laughs> quite a while ago. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. But uh, anyway, I am back with a Battle Beam on review. Um, a Blastic Core Battle Beam on review. I haven't seen one of these in a while, so I thought I'd pump one out here, and I hope to do a few more in the future if there's perhaps any left. But uh, yes, so um, today we have Gil Scorpion. I think it's Scorpion or Scorpio. Gil Scorpion, yes. So quick look on the box here, we have his owner Haja there in the corner. We got the Sonokong logo. We have the Strike Shot logo, Zero Two logo. This, I believe, is a uh, rapid fire type, I think, because it has a unique core, which I remember from Fire Spirits. Uh, yes, a bottom loader, a bottom quick loader. So that's pretty cool. Um, comes with a Strike Shot. Uh, I am not too familiar with this Strike Shot, actually. I can't remember what it was called. But. Um, Yes, uh, we got a shot here of the core, the bottom quick loading core. Another shot of Gil Scorpion right there. On the back we have um, profile and frontal shot of Gil Scorpion. We have the armor, the skeleton. We've pretty much seen this over and over again through these beam mod reviews, but again, another run through. We have the beat a ball, the strike shot stats, and how they correspond with the blaster. And we have a game. Safety information. All that fun stuff. Not really. So yes, um, this is the Beatamon here. So I'll just crack it open. I don't know. I don't usually do this. I usually have them built off screen, but because I am curious as to what this looks like, it looks fairly big, like oh, really big. And we got stickers, and that is a lot of stickers. I made a mess in my pants. Holy crap! That's going to take a while. So yes. Um, is this metal or yes it's metal wow okay i don't know i think this is a metal and rubber strike shot that's pretty cool and a normal beat ball or bidama whatever you'd like to call it and we got sprue kits so yes um this will be built uh off screen and yeah i'll be back with the beat -em on fully assembled and here we have gil scorpion fully assembled so this is e a Really nice looking beat em on, I gotta say. Um, I really like the uh, scorpion motif going on here. The uh, bulkiness of the blaster is actually quite excessive. There's a lot of room here for the one handed grip. I usually don't like one handed grips on my beat em on, but for Gil Scorpion, it works pretty well actually. It's got like a nice, comfortable um, grip on the back there for your fingers. Lots of room, lots of space. Um, so that's a plus. Um, it has a extra barrel extension here for more Bidama, as it is a rapid fire type. So, yes, overall a really cool Bidamon. Um, absolutely hate the character in the show who owns it, but I, I think his Bidamon is really cool. Um, but yes, got a nice long trigger. Um, at the bottom here we have the port or the um, extra prongs here at the bottom to allow um, quick loading beat -em on or beat -a balls from the bottom of the blaster. And I, I can uh, show the feature right now. So basically how it works is you take, you know, beat -em on and you lock it in like that. And once it's inside, it can easily slide around inside the blaster and it can actually slide all the way out through the um, load or er, magazine at the top there. So you actually have to be pretty careful but you can keep loading bead balls inside just like that if you can see it in this inside there so yes it looks pretty cool uh, the gimmick is actually 
it works a lot better than most of the other um, Blast Core Beat Mods I have got. Um, aside from the only other Beat Mod that actually had a really, you know, good working gimmick was Revolver Hades, but it still had some twitchy elements to it that I didn't quite like. But uh, this is actually one of the cleanest functioning beat -em on from the Blaster Core line. So I give it a, a, a great review, actually. It's, it's really cool. Um, side pieces here, these are just uh, little attachment rings for the DHB armor uh, to assist the special needs for the uh, arms and legs. But uh, yeah, another cool little gimmick right here is that the uh, the foot armor pieces are attached to extra joint pieces uh, on the side of the beat -em on so you can actually uh, move the legs up and down like in the kicking sort of like position which is pretty cool I mean it's not ne like it's not necessary considering that um, you know most beat -em on are always on a flat surface there's really no point to this articulation but it's pretty cool anyway but uh, yes uh, really cool beat -em on I really like the uh, the features of it. Um, I can do a quick uh, firing test um, in just a second here. So we will show off the firing capabilities of Gil Scorpion. And I forgot to mention too that the uh, strike shot here is called the random shot. So basically what it does is it has um, a hollow plastic side and a metal side and what that does is it causes a weight imbalance in the shot giving it a random pattern when it's fired so I'd like to see how that works in battle it's supposed to make it an unpredictable shot which I think is uh, very in tune with um, the character from the show he's kind of a wacky sort of guy so it makes sense that his strike shot sort of represents his character in a sense so I thought that was pretty cool so yes, we shall show off Gil Scorpion, uh, Gil Scorpion's fire capability with normal beta balls as well as its signature strike shot. And we shall now test Gil Scorpion's fire capabilities. So as we've seen before, just quick load it from the bottom. And of course you can always do more beta balls uh, basically until you reach the top. So, you know, you have a very effective rapid fire technique going on here with this beat -em on and basically all you do is shot one which is a pretty good shot uh, it's got some substantial power behind it it's not too weak it's not too strong it's sort of in the middle so that's it's fairly good and now for the random shot so yes it also depends on how the strike shot is aligned in the blaster so it's shot or it's uh, random pattern is always unpredictable whenever it's loaded so that makes it fairly usable and it's also quick too because most shots like the drive shot require specific alignment inside the core in order to fire properly for its specific purpose to work but uh, for Gil Scorpion uh, this method works a lot easier uh, considering that it needs to be random so its shot is its uh, shot pattern is always different every time it's fired. I think it works really well. It's fast paced. It doesn't require uh, additional effort in order to fire it, especially in a fast paced game. So again, this is probably one of my favorite beat em on in the show, which is actually, you know, uh, kind of interesting because I've never ever considered this being uh, a beat em on that I really desired. So it's kind of funny how it turns out to be one of my favorite blasters. But yes, well, that's sort of predictable, kind of went against. You know, let me see if I can actually load it from the top. I don't know if. I think it can be. I, I assume it can be fired traditionally. Yeah, so that was a more straightforward shot. Uh, again, depending on how the uh, ball is aligned inside the chamber. So, yes, this has been a uh, Battle Beat Em On Blaster Core review starring Gil Scorpion. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Well, I guess not rate because that doesn't really happen anymore. I can't believe I still say that. But yes, comment, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, Twitter, Facebook, whichever you prefer, Google+. And uh, yes, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.